threatening Northern Korean army. The Soviet Union. New joy has come to the royal family in the birth to Princess Elizabeth of her first daughter. A few days of suspense preceded the news and crowds lingered in the mall each day to gaze at the princess's home and watch the arrival and departures of royal relatives and friends. The Queen leaves after taking lunch with her daughter. The Duke of Edinburgh drives out for a short visit to the test match. And another rewarding sight to the spectators, Prince Charles and his teddy bear out for an afternoon breather. The early years of marriage have set the seal on the happiness of the princess and her husband. The blessing of children has come not only to enrich their own lives, but also to establish securely the line of succession. In Prince Charles, the public has acquired a new popular subject of interest of whom some delightful pictures have been taken. The public will be no less eager to see the first pictures of his sister. To Sir William Gilliatt, the great gynaecologist, fell the medical responsibility of seeing the baby princess into the world. The nurse was Miss Helen Rowe. Everything possible to ensure the safety and health of mother and daughter was naturally done, but there must always be anxiety. That is now over, and the nation's rejoicing is marked by a salute of guns fired in Hyde Park by the Royal Horse Artillery in full dress. Another royal salute is fired in the Tower of London by a battery of the Honourable Artillery Company. The official announcement of the birth is posted on the door of the Home Office, though once again, as at the birth of Prince Charles, the Home Secretary is excused the historic duty of attending at Clarence House during the period of the birth. To Her Royal Highness, the thoughts of the public turn in an expression of joy and congratulation. We shall be looking forward eagerly to seeing the Princess again and her baby. <laughs>